What is going on guys, Tazwafa here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now, last time we left off, we did a lot of stuff. We finally did the, like, Eternia crystal stuff. We, we, we used all the different, like, rods and weapons and stuff. So that was awesome. And between this episode and last episode, I said, hey, I wanted to continue doing that off-camera, like, mining and all that kind of stuff. And I was doing that, and then we got a visit from a traveling trader, and I'm talking to him right now. And we finally have the life form analyzer, you guys. Finally. After who knows how many episodes of us looking for this, going to like every traveling trader and checking and seeing, well, that one doesn't have it, so I guess we'll have to wait till the next one. Finally, this one has it. Five gold. We have 21 gold right now. I actually just died. <laughs> so I dropped like 30 something silver, so that sucks. But we have a life form analyzer now, displays the name of rare creatures around you. And we can also use this to make like a panda ears. What in the world? Exotic. Yeah, it's like a platinum there, so I can't. It's just pointless to do that. Fake unicorn horn. Uh, yeah, it's another vanity thing. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Lawn Flamingo. I have five gold. Why is that five gold? <laughs> I can get two unicorn horns for the, the price of a Lawn Flamingo. Sheesh. Arcane Rune Wall. Two silver. Uh, don't we have that? I think we have that. Isn't that in our room? No, yeah, we have the Space Stars. I thought we had... Oh, yo, yeah, we have it above our bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some of those right there. But we need to go talk to Maxwell. Which I'm actually starting to get used to and calling him Maxwell now. Let's go to crafting. Let's go to life form analyzer. We'll see what he says about this. So with the life form analyzer, we combine them together with the tally counter and the radar, which we have. Boom, boom. To get the rec 3000. And then the rec 3000 is basically all those combined together, which is good. But I think with this, we can make like what? At this point, we should be able to make the phone. Maybe like combine together with the GPS and that gives us the phone. And maybe like one other thing and that give us the phone. Maybe I don't know, but. Let's, let's go... Oh, what do you do? Just put that in your inventory or something like that? Just be next to a uh, crafting table or something, I assume. Let's do that. Let's go over to... Oh, whoops, I accidentally just grabbed onto that ground right there. <laughs> so open up our inventory, go over to here. Can I make the Rec 3000? Where is that? Uh, goggles? What? Oh, yeah, the lenses. Yeah, let me talk to Maxwell again. Where specifically do I need to make this Rec 3000 device? Tinkerer's Workshop. Don't we have that? Isn't that this? Isn't that what this is right here? Oh, it is. Hey, we have it right there. Wreck 3000. Nice. Displays the number of monsters, kill count, and rare creatures. Ooh. Yeah, we never had the Life War Analyzer before now, you guys. But because we're getting rid of this, well, we never really use these in these uh, other slots over here. So we're not going to miss out on the melee speed or the defense because we never had them equipped, right? But uh, at least we'll actually get some more inventory space back. So it's just, you know, one device taking up the... Uh, Doing the job of three different devices and only taking up one inventory slot. Don't mind if I do. Boom, Rec 3000. Now, talking to Maxwell here just a bit. Let's see, what in the world is this? Like Obsidian platforms and stuff. What else can I make with the Rec 3000? I was thinking of just a moment ago. No, it's the PDA. I thought it was the cell phone. Pfft, what is a cell phone, right? Goblin Tech. We get that from Zon slash Gerd. Yes, I think we get it from him. GPS, we have that. Fish Finder, we don't have that. Although I, I could probably go Google how I can make that, right? And then the Goblin Tech, I think we get that from Gerd. And uh, I guess we check real quick. Did we get that from him or what? Uh, no, actually. I thought we did, but I guess not. Like, he is a goblin, isn't he? Like, he's a friendly goblin, that is. So that's good and all, but... Uh, wait, what does that say? No enemies nearby, so that's good. No rare creatures nearby. Yeah, that's good. I, I definitely need to have... Oh, what is this? Two, uh, precise Wreck 3000. 2% 2 critical strike chance. Nice. But yeah, now it shows rare, no rare creatures nearby, no enemies nearby, fire imps, that's the last creature I killed. I got killed by, like, lava, because I was getting, uh, Hexstone. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I did get comments saying, hey, go to Maxwell, or there he is over there, and then give him, like, an actual, just a straight-up Hexstone, like an ore, and then see what he says about it. So there you go. Because we can, yeah, Flask of Fire. What is that? Melee attacks, enemies on fire, 20-minute duration. That sounds really good, you guys. It basically gives it, like, fire aspect. For any melee thing, like our Miramasa up here. And I guess, like, our pickaxe and our axe and stuff like that, if I use that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it does it for a boomerang, though, right? Even though it is kind of ranged melee, I guess you could call it. Because you throw it at someone and then it comes back. I don't know. Hexstone brick. Cinder wall. How do I open up the big... Oh, yeah, this one right here. Obsidian chest. Obsidian sink. I don't know what, uh... Smoldering magma wall. I don't know what I'm necessarily looking for here with that comment. Maybe they're just saying, hey, why don't you go look at it? But yeah, I can make a lot more Hexstone bars now. We've got like 44 right there. Combine it together with the literal thousands of obsidian we have in our inventory. And uh, we'll be able to get a bunch of Hexstone bars and maybe make something out of it here, you guys. So let's see. There it is right there. Hexstone bars. Boom. Three to one ratio. So there we go. 15 more. And in total, we have 24. 
Now, how far away am I from? Oh man, I can make the lava proof bug net. I can make the fiery great sword, the molten pickaxe. We, uh, oh, I thought we already had that. I guess not. Hurtful Deathbringer pickaxe. Yeah, that's the, uh, the, the Trimtain one, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. So that one has 70% pickaxe power. This one has 100% pickaxe power. Now, what specifically can this mine that this one can't mine? Because we could already mine everything in the, in the, in the Hexstone area, <laughs> the underworld. I don't know. What is this stuff? Yellow, orange. Yeah, okay. They look pretty similar. Molten helmet. Yeah, we already have the, uh, the Hexstone armor, though. We just don't have the, the weapons, like the pickaxe, the armor, the, the great sword. We don't have the bow. We don't have the flame ring. What is our current boomerang? Uh, 14 melee damage. 33. Sheesh. Now, how do I make that? Oh, combine it together with the enchanted boomerang we already have. Ooh. And this already has an 8% damage uh, multiplier thing. Hmm. I guess it would incentivize us to use the boomerang a little bit more often, huh? I guess, because this only does 14 damage. Well, it, I don't know, what does it do, like 12 damage or something like that, if it didn't have that uh, extra 8%, I assume? I'd say it'd, it'd probably be worth it, you guys. Very fast speed, very strong knockback. Extremely strong knockback. So the knockback goes down a little bit, and of course the melee damage. Oh, well, the knockback is extremely strong because it has the 15% knockback on it, so yeah, that makes sense. What is this? Imp Staff, that's another thing you guys said, hey. Get that, 17 Hexstone Bars. I remember you guys saying, hey, get the Imp Staff, because you could summon in Imps, I guess to, like, fight by my side or something crazy, so that sounds fun. Let's do that, 17. We're going to have only seven after this. Uh, what was I looking at just a moment ago, the boomerang thing? Ah, uh, yeah, we need three more, and I can make both the boomer, the flamerang, and the Imp Staff. Is there anything else here? There's the arm, but there's the... We already have the, uh, that thing, Meteor Hamax. Yeah, that's the hammer and the axe like combined together in one, which is cool. Well, that's like meteor stuff. What about this? Is this the same thing? Yeah, that's a ham axe too, so I could do that. That's 15 though. Man, what's that say though? Hold on. 150 axe power, 70% hammer power. 100, 100 axe power, 60% hammer power. Eh, it might be worth it. How much damage? 20 melee damage for both. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get the imp staff. Boom. New uh, new thing right there we just got. You guys got a random zombie banner right there. We're probably killing like literally hundreds of zombies. I don't know if there's anything else we can craft right now, though. I got a pretty full inventory. I should probably, uh, quick stack. How do I do that again? There it is right there. Quick stack to all the stuff. That's good. We have a fallen star. Did that not stack up with anything? I thought I had a... Wait, what? Why did... I don't know why it didn't stack up right there. Oh, I guess I was too far away from the chest, maybe. Let's do that again. Quick stack. All right, that's good. Yeah, I'll take care of all that stuff there. Nice. More structures. Yeah, I guess I'll put up the extra banners. Ethereum javelin thrower banner. What do the war table banners look like? Like, they look physically, like, different. Like, what if I wanted to- Oh, whoa! Okay, well, I'm glad that I bought the, uh, the thing from Romeo there. Yeah, look at that, they're a little bit wider on the bottom compared to the other banners. And wider in general, it looks like, maybe. I just can't really place them down anywhere because they're a little bit bigger. Can't place them outside, unfortunately. That'd be really cool if I could, though. Wait, maybe I can? Nah, that'd be cool if I could have it, like, horizontal like that. That'd be cool, but... Nah, I can't do that, unfortunately. Can't hang it here, either. It's, you know, I got too much stuff going on. Can I hang it over here, though? Like, on these steps? Nah, I can't do that. Uh, oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting about these, like, there you go. I guess we put that there. That's fine. Uh, I think, yeah, isn't this where a tavern keep is? I think that's where we assigned him, huh? Let's look at this thing. Yeah, that is where he is. So I guess it makes sense to have an ethereal banner there over where his actual room is assigned. So that's good. I guess I'll put up the other one, other banners up over here in the other structures chest. Just kind of get rid of that. And there's the GPS. There's the Rike right 3000. We still need to get the, uh, the goblin tech. And then the fish finder thing, and then we can make the PDA, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to look into how to make the other uh, fish finder, and uh, I guess also how to get the uh, goblin tech, too. But for right now, I kind of want to test out that, uh, test out that imp- <gasps> Whoa! We got a really good one right there, you guys. I was doing research on, like, these, like, statuses or whatever you want to call these, like, multipliers and stuff. Demonic is pretty high up there. This is really good, you guys. 18% extra damage, 5% more critical strike chance. 20 summon damage. What, what did it have originally? Like 17 or something like that? So we went up a pretty good amount right there. Not bad. We have a grapefruit right there. We could eat randomly. Pointy uh, hammer. Uh, is there anything else here I want to get out, get rid of? There you go. Let's go test out this imp staff though, you guys. So it's supposed to like summon it. Oh, and by the way, some of you guys said, oh, oh, cardinals. Whoa. It's a flying guy, just like my dragon, but I assume he actually does damage, huh? So if I, if I go out into the wild, where there's potentially, like, zombies and slimes and stuff like that that are going to be spawning in. Is he going to start a oh, oh, he's still there. That's good. Now, I, I wonder how long he lasts. 
Is he just going- oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here's zombie. Where is it? Did I just jump over it and I- Where was it? Oh, 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 yep, they're inside of my base up there. But yet my fire imp is killing them. Can I summon a second one? Nope, just summon one of them and that's it. And it does take some mana, but hey. It's kind of like a companion sort of thing. Let's go inside of the battle arena itself, the boss battle arena, that is. Let's see how good he is. Can't really see how much damage he's doing, I don't think. Unfortunately, so that sucks. Yeah. But I guess he just, as long as he's alive, he's always going to be out here. I, I guess he doesn't last for only like, you know, 20, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. I guess he's always going to be out here as long as he's alive. And if he gets killed, I'm going to have to resummon him in or something like that. Wait, did he just do 22 damage right there? I think he did, because he does 20 summon damage. He probably does extra damage. Oh, oh, I didn't see what that was. Probably does extra damage or something like that. Uh, and then, of course, I guess he catches things on fire and probably does some damage over time with that, too. Huh. Oh, 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 was he killing? Yep, 19, 15, 18. And yeah, I saw like a bunch of ones there, too, probably from the fire damage. Nice. And there's a scorpion. He's going to get the scorpion. Nah, I guess he's not, because the scorpion's not attacking me. So that's, that's fine, I guess. What about over here, though? Anything over here you guys want to go, uh, shoot? Like the, like the vultures and the other stuff? Oh yeah, we need to go do the, uh, the, the jungle biome. I need to go over there and see... Oh, yeah, it, speaking of jungle biome, I also got some comments from you guys saying, Hey, there is a golfer NPC you can find in the jungle biome underground. So definitely, once we get started with that, want to keep our eyes peeled, try and find... Man, he can get, like, the fireballs he shoots out. You can get collaterals, it's crazy! And they have really good range, and they shoot in a straight line, they don't, like, go in a parabolic sort of shape. That's good. Oh man, this guy's going to be really good, you guys. Like, he's an actual... So I assume this is what... I, if, if I got, like, what? Like, like a dog or whatever from the zoologist? Is this what would happen here? Like, the dog would, like, attack stuff? Or is, is that, like, also, like, the dragon where it's, like, purely cosmetic? I don't know. But this, 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 like, companion sort of thing right here with this little imp seems really, really good, you guys. It's amazing. Definitely going to keep that in my hotbar, at least for right now, right? Going to go uh, teleport back home right now, though. There you go. And you know what? I, I think I'm going to continue. Oh, oh yeah, I died off camera. I lost like 30 something, uh, like, uh, silver. Oh yeah, he teleports with me too. Oh yeah, yeah, one thing I was just mentioning just a moment ago. Some of you guys said, hey, you, oh, one of this imp uh, will fight for you. That's good. Well, some of you guys did say, hey, you do have the Horde of Dragon status under, underneath your hotbar. And uh, I was wondering, oh man, does he actually do anything? But, and you guys said that he has this little status thing right here, but I guess he doesn't do anything. It just says the Horde of Dragon is now following you. So I get, oh, so I guess he actually is just purely, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, oh no, get out of the lava. Oh my God. You know what? I'm eating that grapefruit. Boom. Hopefully I heal up faster. From, and I am still dying. I'm, 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 oh, you know what? I'm just going to take a health potion. Boom. 100 health. Is there a better one than this? Is this like 200 health or something like that? That'd be good. Jeez, just fall straight. You know what? I need to place down some platforms over there. Sheesh. What's that, Amethyst? I think it is. What's he shooting at? Can't see anything. It's like extreme. I don't have my uh, night vision goggles or any on right now. But yeah, this is definitely where I need to place some heckin' platforms. Like right here. <laughs> I don't know why I never did. Like I, I keep on like just relying on my rocket boots and my, my magic carpet and stuff to save me here. But there it goes. So now I can fall down here. Ba-boom, and I'll still be fine. As long as I don't, like, hit whatever the button that is to, uh, to go, yeah, down, to go through that, yeah, I should be fine. <laughs> but I wonder if my money's still down here, though, because I, oh, oh, oh! I thought it just fell into lava right there, but nothing happened, okay. <laughs> let's zoom in a little bit. I zoomed out for some reason. Uh, let's place some more platforms here. Wait, what? Oh, I'm placing torches for some reason. What? Why am I not, uh... Oh, it's because of the smart cursor thing. There you go. Smart cursor was on right there. Oh, we got a we got a worm guy around here. Where is he? Did we just kill him right there? I didn't even see him right there. Pfft. What a piece of garbage he is. All right, let's go down here. I think I was like really far to the left. So I'm going to go try and retrieve my heckin' money. Which is only like 37 silver, but still. It's money. There's like demons in the background. You guys see that? It's crazy. And then also off camera, I guess I'll continue trying to get some hex stones. So we could also get the, uh, you know, maybe get the... Hexstone pickaxe, and, uh, was this it? No. Yeah, we went, like, really far to the left. Sheesh. Or at least I did off camera. But yeah, definitely want to get all the Hexstone, uh, tools, weapons, all that kind of stuff. We already have all the armor, we don't have to worry about that. But I definitely do want to have, like, a full matching set of, like, hammer, axe, pickaxe, all that kind of jazz. You guys know the deal. And then I, I also, like I said, uh, last episode or something- Oh, god! Oh, 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 there we go. I got some comments saying, hey, you keep forgetting to use your reckon- Extendo arm or whatever thing's called. <laughs> so there you go, heck bat right there, get that thing, nice. But I think I died. Yeah, I died right here. Mm-hmm. Got my 39 silver back, so that's good. 
Yeah, let me let me get hey, look at that. There's my gravestone. Surprised I don't see any hanging ghosts around here. Oh, there's an imp down. Hey, look at that. He looks just like him. Why is he not attacking him though? Hold on, what if I go down here? Was oh, he attacking him now? He is. That's good. Look at that. His fireball can go through No, no, that, that's a that door is open. That's why he's going through uh, walls right there. Okay. Uh oh, another worm guy. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. And my imp is actually helping out with that too. Where is he? Where is he? There he is! Doing a lot of good damage there. Nice, got him. Ha ha ha. Alright. Yeah, we're almost up to full health again. That's that's where we died a little bit, uh, five, six episodes ago or something like that. Probably not going to go back there, to be quite honest, but, uh, there's still plenty. Oh, you know what I could do? Boom. Do this. Uh, I, can, I don't think I can mine. Oh, I can mine through that. What? Man, this is smart right here. Mining from below. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is extremely safe and smart. Not gonna miss out on that one uh, hex down right there. Pff, who cares? Can I mine through this wall? Because I just basically just did that right there. Yep, I can mine through. The this is smart as heck. You guys probably you can't see. It. Hold on. Can I face the other? Can't face the other direction to show you guys easier. But uh, there we go. Mine all that just to make sure we don't mine through the wall. We're actually held on to right now, and then we're not going to get hurt at all from that heckin' lava right there. Very smart. How much hex stone did I get right there? Twenty one. That's nine plus ten. That number. I am not joking around. That number, like, follows me around all over the place, you guys. It's crazy. It's, like, kind of spooky, to be quite honest. But either way, let me continue getting some more Hexstone off camera. Maybe go over to the granite biome, like I almost mentioned, like, five minutes ago. Because, uh, killing those granite elementals and stuff. I think I said they drop, like, 50, uh, silver. I don't think they drop 50 silver. I think they drop, like, 10 or something like that. But still, <laughs> just kill a few of them and you got yourself, like, gold. So, don't mind if I can do Let me go do that. Same thing over here in the, uh, in the Hexstone biome. Like, even killing some of the stuff over here drops a decent amount of silver. Like, yeah, one silver right there. But I killed, like, a, a demon not too long ago and dropped, like, three silver. So, that was pretty good. But either way, yep. Let me, uh, continue getting heck and so oh! oh, that's my imp right there. I didn't know whose imp that was. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, and then I got a comment saying, yeah, like, the pouring lava like that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Oh, another obsidian, uh, chest right there. I never saw that, I guess. I guess I never went this far to the left, huh? I guess not. I guess I never went down there, huh? You know what? Let's, let's get our piggy bank out. We got oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. Lava fly. What? Where? Oh, that little thing right there. I guess we can catch it with a uh, a bug, uh, a fireproof bug net, whatever that thing was that we saw just a moment ago. Let me get my piggy bank out and we put it on this platform because we'd actually do that. Let's get our uh, shadow key. That's what it's called, not obsidian key. There, we go. get the piggy bank back, and I have to refavor it. Boom. Make sure I don't uh, quick stack that up. One silver. Open up the chest. Boom. It's unlocked. Zealous Sun Fury. Whoo! You guys, I thought this thing was crazy. The Ruthless Blue Moon. That thing's trash now. 19% damage. 5% critical strike chance. This doesn't even have a damage multiplier on it. Oh my gosh. Dynamite. Restoration Potion. Teleportation Potion. What? Recall Potion. Torches. I'm going to grab the chest itself. Take a little bit of damage right now from whatever that was. There you go. Oh, it's an imp below us. Imp versus imp right there, you guys. Which imp is going to win? Whoo! Did you guys see that? The imp won. That was crazy. Yeah, look at that. Another three silver twice right there. That's crazy good. Let me get this uh, magma slime right here. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Let me get my imp to get him. And uh, get him there, imp guy. Oh, wait. What are we? Oh, there's an imp above us. That's uh, shooting like through the walls and stuff like that. Yeah, like this lava right This like flowing lava right here. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that at all. We're fine. Uh, a little bit of hexstone here to the right. But uh, yeah, like I explained like 40,000 times over the span of like 15 minutes. <laughs> Let me just pause the recording, continue uh, doing all that stuff I already mentioned. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit where we're going to go finally over to the jungle biome to f try and find this giant bee queen and also like a golfer NPC guy. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And hopefully I can die here, you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm still in the underworld, right? What? <laughs> Why does this always happen, like, right when I hit the, the, like, record button or, like, the pause button or the stop record button? Something always happens. Like, slime is falling out of the sky now. Whatever. Not that big. We've already had that happen before. Although, I guess we could do it now. Oh, yeah, by the way, this thing is, like, really good. The Zealous Sun Fury. 76 melee damage. Just like the other thing over here. I'm just spinning around constantly, and it's just, like, it, it, it just constantly kills everything that just gets within range of me. And just dies. Even though I know you're supposed to, like, throw it like this. Just spinning it around still does a ton of damage, which is really good. Either way, I found... This, it's like glowing. Yeah, look at that, it just glowed right there. Uh, I, I don't know if that's different from the other chests we've seen. Because we saw the, uh, where's my pit? There it is right there. We saw that the obsidian key or whatever is able to open up like shadow chests and like obsidian chests. And by the way, I got like something called a geyser. I stepped on a pressure plate and like lava came out of this thing. So I, I broke it just in case I wanted to use it. But uh, there you go. What the? Uh, 
Oh, jeez, there's a... What happened to a piggy? It, like, died immediately. That was going crazy. Shadow chest, that's what that is right there. I just... I guess this is just a regular one. But we do have another key over here, shadow key. Open shadow chest and obsidian lockbox. I don't think it's an obsidian lockbox. That must just be another shadow chest or whatever. What's inside there? Staunch Heckwing Bow. Ho oh, ho boy. Plus 9% damage, plus 15% knockback. Wind arrows turn into flaming bats. What? Uh, I've got 999 wood arrows. So I can shoot 999 flaming bats with this thing. Is that what you're saying? Ho oh, ho man. Our current gold bow, which... Pfft, 13 range damage. Going and literally doubling up to 26. 14% critical strike. 17% critical strike. A strong knockback. No knockback. Yup. Yeah, let me get rid of that garbage. We've got ourselves another bow there, haters. 23 actual just straight up meteorite bar for gold. Nice. Oh yeah, by the way, I got a ton of gold. I, 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 I forgot what happened. Did I, I, I think I opened up one of those vases or something like that. I don't think it was like a chest. But I opened up like a vase, or, like broke a vase, and then uh, it like opened up another portal to another dimension with like gold coins coming out of it. This happened before on camera before. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. But I got like 10, 15 gold out of it, which was insane. So we're up to 34 gold inside of the piggy bank, up to 39 gold now. Woo, man, that's really delicious. Let's grab the other stuff inside there and grab the chest itself. There you go, nice. Yeah, it's another shadow chest. I guess it's just kind of glowing like that to kind of help you find it. But I do have two, yeah, look at this, look at this. Boom, killed that thing, no problem. That little, like, shelly right there, pfft, that was nothing. But yeah, I might just teleport home. We got 250 uh, hexstone right now, which is a really, really good amount, holy heck. And another shadow key. Why do I keep having shadow? Am I able to use shadow keys, like, nonstop? Because, like, other stuff, like gold keys, is like a- Oh! Look at how easily we just killed that 13 silver right there. Could have been better, but whatever. But, eh, like I said, like, the gold keys, those get used. We have four gold keys right there, which is good. I guess the shadow key, the obsidian key, whatever it is, can be used over and over and over again. It doesn't matter. Either that or I, I don't think I found one in that, uh, that chest right there, so... I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I killed a demon, and it gave me a shoddy demon scythe. It's like a book. But I think it's like a spell. You can't, this is, I think this is why you guys told me, hey, when you're in the dungeon, be sure to break all the books because you might get like a spell like this. I wanted to try it out on camera, so boom. Oh, that's what the, yep, that's what the demons shoot at me, yeah. Now I can shoot this out if I want to. Ooh, yep, there you go. Do some damage to the heck back. Oh, oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Literally. Oh, oh, oh no. That is a demon with a, oh my gosh. You know, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to get him right here. I'm going to get him right here. Make sure it does not land in lava. Guide Voodoo Doll. This is what happened last time. We killed a voodoo demon. There were two voodoo demons when we first came into the heck area. And then you guys told me, hey, if the, it, it dropped the voodoo doll, it's like 100% like chance to drop. And you guys said, hey, if, if, if you throw a guide voodoo doll into the lava, that's what summons, that's what starts the wall of flesh boss battle. And that's why all that can happened like 10, 15 episodes ago or whatever by now. Geez. But yeah, now we have a, wait, what? Oh, I must have hit the edge of the world there. What in the world? That was kind of weird. Like the edge just stopped scrolling right there. Did I actually do that? Oh, I did. Holy heck. Yeah, look at all that I explored off camera there, you guys. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, like pretty much, ah, oh, man. From here, this was the last, and by the way, this is the bee biome right here. I saw a bunch of, like, bee nests. Definitely want to go over there and explore on camera. But, like, from here to the left, literally no, like, obsidian towers, buildings, whatever. So I guess I just only spawn in a specific area of the map. And, yeah, look at how crazy this is. This feels weird. The screen, like, not scrolling while I'm, like, moving like this. But uh, there is one more obsidian, or, uh, like, face or whatever down there. A little bit of hexstone down there, too. Another demon up there. Is that a skeleton? Yeah, it's just a skeleton. Yeah, I'm going to get away from this corner of the world because it's, it's it's just a very weird feeling whenever you're moving, but like the screen isn't scrolling. You know, <laughs> it's very strange. You know what? Can I? I think I can land on that 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 flowing lava. Pick out that slime. Oh, I think I took some damage from that. No, I didn't take damage from the lava. That's good. Yep, because it's just flowing lava. Boom. Yep. There's another demon, just a regular old demon. Let's fight fire with fire, literally, and use a boom. I oh, think I killed him there with the uh, with the scythe, but 
We can do this. And it shoots out. That's really cool. We have an imp up there. Let's get him. Got him. Ha ha. Sliced and diced. All right, but yeah, there is the bee biome, the underside of the bee biome that I kind of found there. So maybe we'll go over there and actually like go into the bee biome from the bottom up. That might be like a good strategy, honestly. Might save us a lot of time, I'll tell you that much. Sheesh. Now, what is all? Oh, did I find another, uh. Pfft, found another rune over here, you guys. That's kind of crazy. Just like completely inadvertently found another rune. And by the way, the Sun Fury like lights up around you, which is very, very convenient. Like, look at this. It's lighting up all this like cobweb ruin and stuff like that that's around here. And of course, breaking all the cobweb too. Another golden chest. Don't mind if I do. I don't think it's locked though. I think I think these ones are just always like unlocked in these, uh, in these like ruins and stuff like that. So don't need to worry about that. But let's go up here. Is that a skeleton? Is that a skeleton with a sword through him? Oh, I thought that was a deck or like a, like a statue I could use. Man, that would have been really cool. What's our healing potion there? Yeah, just regular like cave music going on right now. Nothing too crazy. What is this? Yeah, more random decoration right there. Am I zoomed in? There we go. Let's see what's inside of this chest though. Brisk lava charm. Mmm. Wait, whoa! Provides seven seconds of immunity to lava. Oh my gosh, is that pure luck? And we got a suspicious looking eye. Throwing knives. Gold, we have another one of these things. And you know what? Great pressure plate. Get rid of that garbage. You guys, I feel like we have extreme luck going on right now. Either that, or like something, I don't know, but we're getting some really good loot down here, you guys. Oh man, this is this is starting to get full too. You know what, I already have a Hexforge, I don't know why I have that. Voodoo doll, let's put that up to make sure nothing happens to us, sheesh. And uh, honestly, I think we're good right now. If anything, I'll just grab the gold chest. There you go. And I'll probably just teleport home here. Oh, oh almost left my piggy bank behind, there you go. Uh, we have a shield statue thing right there. You know what? And I have Cthulhu uh, statue right there. I'll grab that. There you go. Eyeball statue. Let's grab the Zealous Sun Fury. Kind of light it up around us. Is there anything else around here in this general area? Before I just teleport the hole. Before I teleport back home. I think we're pretty well set here, you guys. I don't know what that thing is. Yeah, maybe I'll go into the bee biome from the underside and then see what we can follow. Oh, there you go. See if we can actually find the golfer guy. I don't know. What, I'm like, I guess he's wearing. Oh, I hit the edge of the world again. This is so trippy. Every time. There you go. I guess he's wearing like a golfer hat. Maybe like a green shirt or something like that. Symbolize green grass. I don't know. Oh, God. It is actually pitch black. There's some uh, sapphire right there, though. Looks like. Man, I'm just like regular cave mine right now. It's kind of crazy. What is that? Oh, it's just background with like cobweb in the way of it. Yeah. I don't know what that like weird like ore was right there, but I guess I'll grab the sapphire. We haven't had sapphire in a little while, and isn't sapphire like actually decent? I mean, I I, th oh, I think emeralds is better than sapphire, right? Because I think we had some sapphire. We could have gotten. What do I want to drop? Yeah, stone. Sure, I don't care. Let me get the sapphire. It's like you know what? Uh, torch. There you go. Let me get the sapphire. Boom. Nice. But hey, at least we'll maybe be able to make something out of that. So that'd be pretty good. But for right now, yeah, I think we're going to be teleporting back home. Let me see how far away. There's the jungle biome underside right here. It continues all the way over here because I see the vines. And I had to basically travel up here anyways because there were like long lava lakes like this. So I had to like travel up here if I wanted to go over across that lava lake because my rocket boots, my, my magic carpet didn't really last long enough for me to do that. But yeah, we have to go a pretty good distance. Like right there's the jungle. Oh, the jungle underside. Right here. Oh, slime stop falling from the sky. And over here is our teleport, the cavern teleport. So we do have to go a pretty good a distance, and I assume it's, going, it's probably going to be a similar thing where, like, maybe the obsidian towers and stuff stop spawning, like, right there, and then all that over here is just going to be nothing. Just like I just did off camera. But for right now, yep, let's just teleport back home. Ba boom. Now we don't have to put up with any heckin' slime fall thus falling out of the sky, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, let me let me just, uh, you know, what? I'm going to turn all that hexstone into. Oh, you guys know what? This brisk lava charm is so good sounding. Grants immunity to knock back fire blocks. Do I want to replace it with the lava charm? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get rid of the flying carpet temporarily and replace it with the, the lava charm just to make sure we can, you know, if we ever fall into lava. Hey, hey, we have seven seconds. Oh, oh blood moon. Blood moon. You kidding me? I'm like, hey, at least it's going to be easy as heck, huh? Let me, uh, let me just put up a bunch of stuff real quick. What is that thing? So, oh, yeah, sapphires. Let me go to, boom, quick stack. All right. Oh, whoops. Hit that again. Whoops. <laughs> let's get our Zell Z Z Sun Fury out. Let's start killing some acting creatures here, you guys. Let's do it to it. Hey, we're going to get a lot of money here, which is good. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to skip this, uh, Blood Moon. We have a nice, big, flat, open area over here, which actually grass has grown all the way to the Ethereal Crystal and even 
a little bit beyond it too, so that's really good right there, you guys. I may just do this Blood Moon again off camera. Just because, I'm like, you guys have seen Blood Moons before. We have amazing weapons that are able to kill anything and everything, like, really easy. Like, look at this. Like, this thing you're supposed to, like, throw. But I'm just, I'm just making it, like, whirl around me like this. Like, 154 damage? What? Man, that is amazing. And, of course, we're getting a lot of money out of this, too, which is awesome. So, oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Money trough. A money trough. Summons a flying piggy bank to store your items. Oh my gosh. That sounds stupid, but I love it. Let's let's grab that, you guys. So I guess we'll get money. We get random loot like a heckin' precise shot. Or yeah, didn't we have that before? Yeah, just critical strike. Yeah, nothing crazy. And of course, uh one extra defense on just by default. So I'm like nothing too crazy there, but you know, I'm going to continue killing a bunch of creatures over here in our both battle arena as well as our ethereal crystal battle like like land area, I guess you can call that, where it's like nice and flattened out and easy to kind of navigate and stuff. Let me continue doing this Blood Moon off camera, getting a bunch of money, getting a bunch of random loot, and then when we come back, I definitely want to go back underground to the caverns and try and go from the bottom up to find this giant queen bee boss or whatever. So that I doubt we find her. We probably have to summon her in because like pretty much every boss we've had to actually like summon in. I can't think of a boss that we haven't, like, basically, or at least did some sort of thing, specific thing, that summoned in the boss. I don't think there was any boss where I was just, like, just out in the open, hey, defeat me, hater. <laughs> so I think we might have to, I might, I might do a little bit of research into the giant bee, too, to see, like, okay, I have to do this specific series of events to summon in the giant queen bee as well. But uh, that's going to be off camera, so, like I said, going to pause the recording, continue defeating this blood moon easily, getting a bunch of money and random loot like a heckin' piggy bank trough. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit.